Hi everyone, it's Miss Kristen here with another great story for you. I know we're approaching the time of Easter where we have Palm Sunday, Good Friday, and Easter Day itself. Those are all really special times. And I wanted to tell you a story that includes all of it, all of Jesus' life, why he came, how much he loves us, and that he is alive. So I'd like to read it for you now. And this book is really special because it doesn't actually have illustrations like drawn with markers. It is using rocks like you would find outside on a walk or in your backyard, using rocks to tell the story. It's called, He is Risen, Rocks Tell the Story of Easter. Look at all these different shapes and sizes of rocks. So let's read it together. He is risen. Jesus loves me. You can see here, look at, this is a head. Jesus came to earth to bring us healing and joy and lead us back home to God. The last week of his mortal life was the most important week ever. Many people celebrated him as the savior. And look here, you can see this rock is in the shape of a donkey. Here's his ears. So this is when he was coming into the city on a donkey. And look at all of these people are so excited to see him. But some people wanted to kill him. Look at these angry faces. See their angry eyebrows. One friend even betrayed him. Before Jesus died, he taught his friends important lessons at his Last Supper. Some of those lessons were about how to love everybody as Jesus loves us. So that you can see him here, he's got the wine and the bread and all of his friends are listening to what he has to say. To love and serve one another. Here you can see Jesus is washing some of his friends' feet to eat and to drink in remembrance of him. And then he prayed in a garden, taking upon himself all the pain and sorrows of the world so we can let them go. Look at all of the pain and sorrows of the world with all of these rocks here. Jesus willingly gave his life on the cross to rescue us and to bring us home to God. He was buried in a tomb. And after three days, guess what? He didn't stay dead. He came back to life and we can all live again because he conquered death. That means he beat death. Jesus wins. God's love wins. See? It's so exciting. Alive again, Jesus visited his friends. And this is supposed to be Jesus' hands. See all the fingers here? And there's a little heart right in the middle. He asked his friends to share the good news that Jesus is alive. Jesus went to heaven and promised to come back. Jesus did all of this for me and for you too. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then here it ends with a question. How will you show Jesus' love to other people? So that's something we can think about. How can we show Jesus love and celebrate that he is alive with other people? The Now, at Easter time, I really like to remember the shape of the cross. That looks like this. It's like a lowercase t. And I even grabbed some rocks from outside to show you that you can do this at home with any materials. Do you have Cheerios? You can make a cross out of Cheerios. Pipe cleaners strips of paper, anything you have, you can use to tell a story too. 
So I'm going to make a cross here out of these rocks. And anytime I see a cross, I can remember how much Jesus loves us, how much he loves me, how much he loves you, how much he loves the world, and that we can celebrate that he is alive. That was a really fun story. Happy Easter, everybody. He is risen. Yay!